Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about the differences between secondary school and university. So if you're starting university this year or even next year, this will be a really interesting video for you because I'm going to be talking you through the biggest differences between the two. I feel like in secondary school and maybe in sixth form, the teachers don't really prepare you enough for university. They kind of just expect you to go and do well no matter what. However, I feel like you should know what to expect at university because the teachers definitely don't give you enough information. So I feel like one of the biggest differences between school and university is the way you're taught. So in school, a lot of the time, you're kind of following a textbook, um, you're following a specific course with that textbook. And the way the teachers teach you is you kind of go through that textbook. They might not necessarily sit down every lesson and go through the textbook, but the way they teach it is still following what the textbook says, because that is then what is gonna be in your exams. The way that you're kind of taught at university is a lot different you're not really following a textbook per se you're kind of just following like the course structure that has been decided already by those people who are teaching that course so the course is kind of decided by the lecturers and the university the university you don't follow like a general kind of exam board course you kind of follow what your university has so that's why each university has different modules and different courses because they're following whatever they kind of want to do. They're kind of following whatever they want to follow. <laughs> that leads me on to then talking about how you are taught by lecturers and by seminar leaders. So at school, you're normally kind of taught, you know, there's a PowerPoint on a whiteboard and you might be going through a textbook and everything. At university, you don't do that. The lecturer kind of talks to you. They still will have a PowerPoint, most of the time at least, my lecturers had PowerPoints and they would kind of talk through the PowerPoints, but a lot of times they go off of the PowerPoint and talk through the point more in detail just as they're speaking. And that is when you get real great nuggets of knowledge and information from your lecturers. You're kind of seeing it through the lecturer's point of view and not necessarily through like the exam board's point of view, which you might be doing at school because obviously the exam board are marking those exams at the end of your GCSEs and the end of A levels so they kind of dictate what's right and wrong however the lecturers at university they kind of dictate what's right and wrong and they have their opinions and then you can bring about your opinions and you can challenge those opinions of the lecturer and you're able to have a bit more freedom with the way you write um, in essays and exams. However, at school, you're kind of constrained and constricted to the exam board's wording of things. So that is a lot different between university and school. In university, you're taught a lot more freely. The lecturers kind of give their opinions on things more. And at university, you're allowed to then challenge those opinions, but also support them if you believe that as well but you can challenge those opinions and you don't have to feel like you're constrained and kind of tight into the exam board wording like you are in school. The next big difference is the fact that you're not in a building, a school building for six hours a day Monday to Friday. At university you might only be in your university building for an hour a day or two hours a day if you've got a lecture. So that's a lot different because when you're in school, you're always surrounded by other pupils, you're always surrounded by teachers and younger students and older students. However, when you go into university, when you go into your school building, you're not always gonna be surrounded by lots and lots of people like you are in school. It's very much you kind of, you're in your area at your home and then you go into the building for a couple of hours a day, maximum, and then you come home. I mean, obviously you can stay there and go into the library, but you might be going to different buildings. And obviously it's very different if you're in a city university like Cardiff, because I could go to my media building and then I could go to a library, which is completely far away from it. So it's a lot different to school because you're not in that one kind of area for six hours a day, for five days a week. And I kind of prefer that because then you can kind of be more yourself and you can hang out with your friends, not necessarily in school. And you kind of feel like the friends who you make at university are closer to you because you're not kind of forced together into that school environment. So the next biggest difference is obviously you're not working towards an exam at the end of two years. So in school for GCSE for A-levels, you're working towards one or two exams per subject, 
which take place at the end of two years. Now that does not happen at university. You're working towards maybe an essay or a um, project, potentially an exam or a take home exam like I had to do, but you're working towards that in the space of three months or four months, not having to do an exam full of two years worth of content. So you're not having to have to worry about something that you did two years ago and have to be questioned on it two years after you studied it. Like that literally makes no sense to me. So university is so much better in that sense, I feel like, because you're revising for something, you're studying something, you then complete after a few months instead of having to complete it after a few years. The modules I did in semester one, I finished all of those exams and those essays and then I had brand new modules in semester two which had nothing to do with my semester one modules and the mark that I got in my semester one modules didn't then influence my semester two modules because they were brand new modules. That is what I love about university, the fact that you kind of go over to something, you study something and then you kind of get tested on it straight away. But the thing is you're not even getting tested on it. Like I had a lot of essays which I prefer to write than an exam at the end of two years because I don't do well in exams. So doing those essays helped me love university because I was able to write in my own time and I had a long time for me to write those essays. And I feel like that is a great difference between school and university you're writing essays and in a lot of time instead of doing an exam in an hour and a half from content of over two years. I guess the next difference is you have lectures and seminars. So in school you kind of just have classes, like you just have lessons. And I guess that kind of is a mixture of lecture, lecture and seminar. Whereas in university you kind of have the two separate things. So in a lecture you're kind of spoken to all of the information, you are shown all of the information and in the seminars you are then able to discuss that information with other people in your module and then also a seminar leader. So I feel like that is a lot different to school because I feel like the, the two, they're very different things in university but I feel like in school they're kind of the same thing as in like a lesson in a whole so your teacher might talk to you about something and then you discuss it with the class. However, there's two, there are two separate things at university. So that way you can get a more in-depth understanding of the thing you're learning about in the lecture. And then in that seminar, you're then able to discuss your own opinions and own thoughts about that. I prefer the way that the universities do it because you are able to then have a lot of information thrown at you, but then you're able to then digest that properly after some time and go into a seminar with a good understanding of what you have learnt and then discuss with other people what they think and um, you're able to get a deeper kind of broader understanding of the topic or, or what you are being or what you are being taught and again the next biggest difference is just you're literally not living with your family <laughs> so I feel like that is you know, something that is a given, you know that's gonna happen when you apply to university, you know that happens when you're gonna you get into university. Um, so that is, again, a big difference. However, I feel like those other differences are very more, are more prominent because you're not told about them very much in school. How university is different in the sense of the learning and the academic side of it, because I feel like that isn't really discussed a lot in secondary school. So it's good for you to know how the learning style is different and how the teaching style is different at university compared to your secondary school or your sixth form. I actually heard a lot of people say that university was easier than school or easier than A levels. And I think when people say that, they mean like the style of teaching and how you are able to understand things more quickly. I feel like when you're in school, everything is quite rushed. You want to finish the course as quickly as possible. And you need to, you're working towards that two year kind of exam at the end. However, in university, you're kind of given a bit more time to think about what you're learning and you're able to digest the information more and you're able to then read up on it further and develop your knowledge even greater. So university is a different style of learning, different style of teaching, it's more in depth. I think that is why people say that they find university easier than A-levels because A-levels you're kind of just told a bunch of information whereas university you're able to digest that information properly and fully understand what you are learning. 
So at the end of the day, there are quite a few differences between school and university. However, there's nothing to worry about. University is a great experience and I actually find the learning and the teaching way more fun, way more interesting, and you actually learn a lot more. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it has been interesting and entertaining and now you have a better sense of the differences between school and university. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye-bye.